Hi everyone and welcome to another Kickstarter unboxing video from us here at The Offline Gamer and today we're looking at something a little bit different. Uh, this isn't a game as such, it's an accessory for those RPG players amongst us. So this is the deck of many things and the deck of many fates. So deck of many things, some of you may be familiar with already, in D&D it's an item that can be obtained and when you draw a card from the deck of many things you have to do what the card says. They could be great, you could get lots of gold, or they could be horrible, you could summon some rather nasty monsters. So this is a physical copy of the, de the deck of many things, but also they've included the deck of many fates, which is a deck of uh, their own items that they've come up with while designing this. So this is from Strategy, and it's got two decks, infinite fates. All dungeon masters, veteran and novice alike, have heard the legends of the deck of many things. A treasured artifact which can infuse any campaign with danger, wonder and delight. But look here, another deck has emerged from beyond the veil of mystery. A deck equal in power, yet bursting with epic confrontations and sinister secrets. The deck of many fates. So we've got two 49 card uh, tarot sized decks in here. And uh, so yeah, I think we should crack open the box and see what our fates will bring us. Okay. Here we go. Well, there we go. Two decks. Deck of Many Things or the Deck of Many Fates. So, oh, what we got here? The Deck of Many Things has been an RPG mainstay for over 40 years. It's an artifact of immense power and extreme chaos. 22 cards each contain a strange, potent and often game-changing effect for your fancy campaign. Unlike its relative, the Deck of Many Fates is a relatively new artifact, unknown to most. It contains a staggering 27 cards, each with a new power curse opportunity. The Deck of Many Fates may be used on its own as an independent deck, or shuffled together with the Deck of Many Things to create a 49 card hybrid of magic, terror and destiny. Yeah, so I read two 49 card decks on the back. There's obviously not, is there? There's a 22 cards and 27 cards. So, there we go. So our decks are in these boxes. What we got here? The fabric of reality is twisting anew and face herself groans in agony. An adventurer has received an artifact both ancient and strange, the deck of many things, which deals boon and woe with the capriciousness of a fey princess. But something else is contained herein. Another deck, alike in power, bearing spells and shame is never before seen in this world or any other. I present to you, wise man or fool, with the deck of many fates. That's some information for the DM there, how, how it uses, I guess. The magic of these decks is nearly unbreakable. Unless otherwise indicated, the card's effects may not be averted by any means, except by divine intervention or the use of a wish spell. Indeed. So basically, if a player chooses something and it's something they don't like, tough. They've got to live with the consequences. So let's look at the deck of many things first. So, yeah, they've all got the emblem on the back. So we have, these should be, I guess, the standard items that are in a deck of many things. So balance, comet, what's that, dungeon? Dungeon, like a dungeon. Uh, Uri Uriel, flame, gem, fool, idiot, jester, key. Gain a rare magic weapon with which you are proficient. The DM chooses the weapon. Interesting. Knight, Moon, Rogue, Ruin, Skull, Star, Sun, Talon, The Fates, The Void, Throne, and Vizier. Vizier? I actually don't know how you pronounce that. So it could be either. So yeah, there's the deck of many things. So really nice big artwork. Very nice artwork actually on them with a little bit of uh, descriptive text there explaining what the card does. So that is our deck of many things. Okay, same design on the back. Is there an easy way for you to tell which is which? That's a good point actually, to the symbols on the decks. So you can separate them out again if you need to. Yes. So the Deck of Many Things has got like a little key on them. And then the Deck of Many Fates has got what looks like a scorpion. So we have Aperture, Interdimensional Portal appears. 
bastion for the next 24 hours you are completely impervious to physical harm I like the sound of that covenant a deity of the dm's choice demands you complete a ritual uh, a trial of its choosing if you succeed it will grant nearly any request if you fail you forfeit your soul oh dear destroyer dragon you encounter a hostile dragon Jin, rp hound you gain the loyalty of a magical animal companion that's good Legion, you gain the service of a band of 20 level 1 soldiers, rather handy. Mask, Mercy and Wolves, Minotaur, Doppelganger, an identical version of you, including skills, memories and equipment, except with the opposite alignment. Oh, then that's very good. Orchard, Pestilence, Phantom, Revenant, uh, Satyr, Scorpion. Serpent, Shroud, Siren, Spire, Stag. Choose any one being to designate as your quarry. You always know the location and status of your quarry. When you kill it, you immediately gain a level. Nice. Tempest, Titania, and Weaver. So there we go. I don't know if they have a website for this. I did try looking for it online and I couldn't find one, but they do have a Twitter and Facebook, which is uh, Stratagem HQ on Twitter and just Stratagem on Facebook. So hopefully you can find something. Oh no, there is a website there, which is brybelly.com, B-R-Y belly.com. So if I do find any more links, I'll stick them in the description below. Obviously there's not a BGG page for this because uh, it's not a game. So yes, there we go. That's a quick look at the deck of many things and the deck of many fates. So thanks everyone for watching and uh, we'll see you for our next video.